A teenage girl faces a charge of felony murder tonight. Police accuse the 18-year-old of deliberately striking a woman in the parking lot of Cumberland Mall after an Atlanta Braves game on Sunday. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes joins us from Cobb Police Headquarters. Man. She spoke with the victim's family yep. this afternoon. So, Deidre, what did they tell you happened? Yeah, I spoke with the victim's sisters who tell me they were enjoying a day out with their dad when they had a run-in with the suspect. They tell me that they did not know that suspect and that Vanessa Robinson deliberately struck their sister, killing her. She ran over my sister's body like she was trash, like she was. Think about it, man. Look at how black people, this is the thing about black people that, 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 that pissed me off. Cops always escalate. They don't never de-escalate. They don't know if somebody, a white person, did I think this person did that. Look at what they do to each other. These people didn't know each other. These people just met. And look what this girl did to this other girl in broad daylight. Idra, what did they tell you happened? Yeah, I spoke with the victim's sisters who tell me they were enjoying a day out with their dad when they had a run-in with the suspect. They tell me that they did not know that suspect and that Vanessa Robinson deliberately struck their sister, killing her. She ran over my sister's body like she was trash, like she was nobody. Paige Jenkins and her family were returning to their car after attending the Braves game Sunday evening when they crossed paths with Vanessa. Yo, Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yo you call, don't listen. You can't don't say nothing to this person. You could see the you could see like the fucking you could see all the way back to prehistoric Africa in her eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> like you can okay. see the Negroes and Negro land in her eyes, man. That she original just, sun woman. Yeah, man. You can see, you can see it in her eyes. Like I'm talking about, like the old, like the sun woman never read, just pounding yams all day and having babies. This is just the she. She's in a world where she's not. You know what I'm saying, like. She didn't create this where she would have never created a baseball game, asphalt, cars, tires. She would have never been in that fucking world with the laws and shit. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, she showed destroying it when cause when her kids get older, it's OV. Yeah. You can see like this this mulatto family. Look at these people. These are this is a nice suburban mulatto family. You can tell these people ain't yeah, hood. Well, they well and, taken care of. Yeah, you can tell these people never missed a meal. These people, um, you know what I'm saying? These people learn how to read and shit when they was real young and shit and got shuttled around to practice and shit. These people never really had to be around sons, real mm -hmm. sons like that the whole, you know what I'm saying? At oh, length. Yeah, for a long period of time. Yeah, yeah. And 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 they cross paths with one. Mm. And I promise you they tried to de-escalate it. I, I don't think these people was like, no, nah, bitch, what's up? I bet these people was like, look, man, all right, you got it, man, whatever. <laughs> and she was nah, like, what? It's hard, to, it's hard to call it, though, man. Mm. These, these days, it's hard to call it. Yeah, like, I think generally that would be true. But like these days, mm. like she looked kind of young. The, the victim unfortunately yeah. so they be yeah. listening to these these new rapper girls and they all be thinking that they like that yeah, some not all of them. yeah not all of them but more than like i've ever seen before and so yeah, you, the youngest one might have tried it the older one definitely she was like nah we don't want no smoke because she knew what time it was yo you know? I, you, know, you know what this reminds me of when i was a kid right like 14 15 years old I went to the county jail to pick up my cousin. My first time going to pick somebody up, right? So mm -hmm. I didn't know which way to go. But when I was there, I, I was with my aunt, and I asked the, the the sheriff, like, which way do I go? And there was this one sister. She starts laughing. Like, you don't know? Yeah, nah, exactly. Bitch, I don't know. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean, it. listen. Somebody just said that I think that, that this girl might have not been 
antagonistic in this situation because she's pretty. Well, here's the thing. It's not that she's pretty. And I don't even think she's pretty. I wasn't looking at her like that as being a pretty. I mean, she's she has a glow. She's bright. I was looking at the way she takes pictures. Look at the picture. Her ass ain't out. She ain't taking the picture. Like, she's a... She, this is not how hood rats, right. bitches yeah. that's fighting yeah. fucking yeah. Chuck E. Nah, Cheese. It's, it's her a picture. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot more than just, like, whether she's pretty or not. It's a lot of pretty hood chicks in the hood. Yeah. But, like, it's not... Yeah, it's... it's uh, I, I was yeah. getting the same thing. I was getting her the same reading just from her body posture. Where the tattoos? Where the, the tattoos? Yeah. Her posture. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Just a posture alone. Where the like, piercings? Where's the um? Look at the the, the sweater she wear. Where's the chain? No look at the chain. Yeah. You don't see a cleavage. No cleavage. No yeah. ass shots. No, no, the no. chain is um is is is, is, is not you know it's not like a mall chain. Yeah. Um, and then her sister that also that's a reflection of you, man. The people who you show me the five people closest to you, and I can tell you a lot about yourself, man. Um, right. Th- this is. This is not some fucking woman, unless she's the greatest actor in the fucking world. This ain't no fucking hood rat, man. Um, but yeah, I, and it had nothing to do with her being pretty or anything like that, or being a mulatto or anything like that. But I think that um, these people just like they ran into something that was just different, you know? Like they ran into different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And they and 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 it doesn't take long. That's the thing too. Like one thing about being a son, especially me, you know what I'm saying? The way I present, the way I present, and the way that you know what I'm saying, my energy sometimes, and just being where I've been and seeing who I seen and knowing who I know. People think that it's gonna escalate quick. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, and, and they may, and that may react differently. Some niggas may react aggressively because they think it's going to escalate quick. Some niggas may try to diffuse it because they're going to think it's going to escalate quick. But people can feel and read and look in your eyes and look at you the way you present, and that means something. And I think that people probably didn't, you know what I'm saying? So this girl's probably tiny. This girl's probably five, one, yep. two. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So they might have just not thought that she was capable of bringing death that quick. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta know. You got to assume when you're dealing with a son person. But, but I, I got to admit, I, like at an Atlanta Braves game, I wouldn't have seen that coming either. I mean, anywhere, man. Right. Listen, man. Mean, what do you mean? The Washington That's like, National Stadium is right, like man. literally yeah. in the hood, my G. Right. Yeah. How about that? That's international, man. I mean, may, maybe, you know, because when I go to the Cubs or size games, I, I really don't see too many sons like, out there, you know? They'd be out there, but not too many. So if you were in the parking you lot and you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> If you're if you're in the parking lot and you're walking back with your kids, right, and you got in an argument with a little son, man, you know what I'm saying, and it was escalating, you wouldn't be on guard and shit. No, no, I mean if I'm with my kids, I'm avoiding that shit like hell, right? Well, but but it, it happened right. though, like it. it, it, it nah, yeah. I, w- I wouldn't. I wouldn't entertain it. I mean, I, I would okay. be alert. I'll be. I know what it is, but. For her to so, escalate and run her over in the parking lot, I just what the fuck is wrong with you, man? So, Rising Crime News has a vid where she goes and rates all the uh, the MLB baseball stadiums for uh, least dangerous to most dangerous. Okay, we'll, we'll put it in the back chat. I, I wonder where um, ours is, man, DC, because their ours is in the city. Oh yeah, yeah. And people get shot. Something. You know how many times people get shot out there? How many mm. times they have to fucking evacuate the stadium or pause the game because they and they and it'd be like a big thing on the news, like there were shots fired at the night. Man, that shit ain't had nothing to do with the goddamn game. It was just some niggas nothing. on the street. Nothing. It's just right outside yeah. the stadium. Yeah. Like literally. And they, they keep at the DC joke, the DC games, they keep the snipers on the roof in the garage. Mm. They keep sure. snipers up there. Who are the pigs? Yes. 
Police, yeah, DC police. They keep snipers. They got, they got at least. I seen at least one sniper with the, I mean, with a real rifle, just in the top of the parking lot, just could see the whole stadium. They waiting for it because it happens. Like it real life happens. Plus, they have like dignitaries there. Like a lot of congressmen go to those games in DC, and they need to have people there. Like yeah, they probably got a lot more. They probably have people in the crowd. That are fucking undercovers and shit and session people that oh are hell yeah they got a lot of people because everybody wanted to go to the game anyway those guys mm-hmm. like the game they just gonna have them all out there anyway yeah man she ran over my sister's body like she was trash like she was nobody Paige Jenkins and her family were returning to their car after attending the Braves game Sunday evening when they crossed paths with Vanessa Robinson Jenkins' sisters say Robinson was driving through the parking lot as the family walked to their car. She had almost hit me with her car first, and she had said something upon the lines of, you need to watch where you're going or something. Yeah, yeah man. Just, <laughs> yeah, man, that's how it be, man. I, I guarantee what happened. I guarantee what happened. She looked back like when somebody almost hit you, your chain reaction, your natural reaction is to look back. Right. And maybe give them a dirty look or give them a what right. the fuck like, look. What the fuck look? Yeah. <laughs> natural and reaction. Think about that. The problem with that with some people, Oof. with everything, it doesn't matter what it is. It don't matter if they steal something from you and you catch them stealing. <laughs> That has nothing to do with it. Your reaction is where we starting at. <laughs> we starting with your reaction. Okay, to the ridiculous shit. That don't yeah. matter what happens. I'm in bed. It. You come home from work, and I'm and I'm in bed with your wife, and you like, man, bitch ass nigga, get the fuck. Up. Who you calling a bitch, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Real like, shit. It's, yeah. Real shit. Real shit. It's up. I might come back with you, you, nigga. Yeah, we we a nigga might come back and be looking for you with his niggas because you now nah, nigga call me a bitch. That what the fuck the nigga think you playing with? <laughs> Real shit. Real if it shit. start, it don't. We don't take into account what we did. It starts at your reaction. Press one. You gotta know that. If you don't <laughs> you know that, know. if you don't know that, man, you and shit. You you, this, this type of shit happens. This yeah. is yeah, this is the type of shit that happens. Yeah, that's light so, shit right here. This is, this yeah. is an easy day. So, so here's the thing. Her probably thinking it's fa- about fairness is like, okay, she almost hit me. I gave her what the fuck look. We're even. Nah, no, <laughs> no, no she mad. She, she mad at you like she was just walking down the street and you looked at her that way, or you was walking down the street and you came with you know what I'm saying and you said what the fuck would you do? She not thinking about what she did to you. Right. She's not yeah. equating that. So you're dealing with somebody who was just sitting there and you came up in their face and was like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now you must die. Right. Now I got to kill you. Yeah, Yo, and I I, I'm laughing to keep from crying, but like this shit is like, it's real. Like, and, and they like this. It can happen at any moment. Like, it's just so, it's so scary. I, I'm, I'm scared of these sisters. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. Nah, this, nah, man. I deep, cause I know them. Like, they're out here, like, and they, they'll do that. They be in their cars, like, having all type of road rage, man. You, you ever driven with a son, sister? Oh my gosh. You could just, yeah. it's scary the amount of them that are just on the road <laughs> to be my honest my sister crashed her car totaled her car on the way to my wedding Damn. right there totaled her car on east capitol street on the way to my wedding oh shit! And, and the whole fucking day became about her fucking in the hospital and shit oh my and god everybody left the fucking wedding and went to their hospital to see if she was oh, that shit was crazy i was like she done fucking stole my shine and shit man but it's like this they crazy man black women do drive crazy that's true man um they do man um it is, now, it is i mean but they feel like but their energy on the road is crazy like mm. some people are just kind of careless and kind of just but now nah, their energy is different on the road the way mm. they looking at people what they expect and how they expect the road to move in their favor for no matter how many rules they violating on the road mm-hmm. it's like yeah it's strange to me man so it's like if you get and then if they're having a bad day oh it's over for you yeah it's and best you, to avoid them 
Yeah. Now for her, it, it, you know, I don't know what she, maybe she did see she was cute. Maybe she, you know what I mean? You don't know whatever she was thinking about <laughs> to her. It doesn't even matter really whether she thought she was cute. She ugly. She still probably going to hit her with the car, but some things add more <laughs> weight. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing, seeing a happy family. Like they were with their dad. You right. know what I'm saying? There's right. a lot exactly. of shit. Yeah. She got sisters. They all pretty as shit too. Yeah. Okay. But what could she have done to avoid this incident? I nothing. <laughs> I think I mean, she I mean, no, she could have no, she could have been in a spot where the girl couldn't have hit her after see this is the thing. After you just after you you look back yeah. at her like what the fuck? And now you get your up. ass yeah, out of the fucking because the this place is in the a worst. parking lot. No, this place is in a parking lot where a person can't run you over, like between the cars. Yeah. Or you know what I'm saying? Like she probably was, she was slipping, thinking it was over. It's never over. I promise you, they probably she probably oh, rolled off, and she thought it was over. And the girl fucking spent around and came back and just mowed her down. Hey, you think so? No way. I think she may have underestimated her her willingness to do it. Like you know, some assist assist. See if her. If the other, if the victims in her sister acted out, she might, she probably might have just stood there thinking, "Oh, this bitch ain't gonna hit me." That's possible. You think that's possible? Well, I think, I think they probably will. Co- well, let's find out. We gonna find out. Uh, oh, make yeah. sure you take the five dollar challenge via PayPal, Cash App, with a super chat. Support the channel, man. Um, well, salute the, the um, man. salute the Darren, man. Darren, salute the. Deluxe 247, a.k.a. Cal Ripken, a.k.a. the real MVP, coming through again. Yes. Um, Darren says, did BLM help with the search for Carly? Of course not. Um, let's go. Like she was nobody. Paige Jenkins and her family were returning to their car after attending the Braves game Sunday evening when they crossed paths with Vanessa Robinson. Jenkins' sisters say Robinson was driving through the parking lot as the family walked to their car. She had almost hit me with her car first, and she had said something upon the lines of, you need to watch where you're going or something, and I was like, I'm the pedestrian. You watch where you're going, and I had kind of shoot her off, and she had exchanged some words, and that's when Paige heard us having that argument, and she came back and said, watch where you're going. Lewis said Robinson drove off, then circled back around. But I tell you, oh my god, <laughs> oh no, they thought it was over when, no. she, when that girl left. I promise you, they thought that shit was over. Yeah, they did. I promise you, she said they probably was like, "Yeah, girl, that was that was some crazy shit," and they start loading shit in the car or whatever, or just standing there waiting, you know, da, 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 and boom, out. And we having that argument and she came back and said watch where you're going lewis said robinson drove off then circled back around and we see them pull around damn oh it was other people in the car oh yeah you that's done. oh damn. yeah definitely showboat oh you let them get you like that oh you can't do that yeah, but it don't even gotta be said though. Like, yeah, you only gotta say it. Hey, if if nah, other sons is around, you only had to say no shit hey, like that. Hey, we you talked about that it. last night. Uh, <laughs> we talked about that last night. Oh, yeah, man. Just the energy, the the energy, <laughs> energy, we coming. We coming. Be <laughs> Yo, I, I gotta admit to you, I right now I'm having a hard time kind of processing on um, the fact like when we're not in this bubble and hearing like all the liberals talk on you know. The social media on the on the TV, etc., and then hearing how what you're saying, it just it's hard it's hard to process, you know. Well, I mean, it's it is what it is. Though. Like, I'm not like trying to like. It just is what it. it that's just the way it is, man. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, but do, <laughs> but do you get what I'm trying to say though? Like, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Like society, society is forcing you, trying to brainwash you into not seeing shit for what it is, yeah, man. But usually, it's it's like Occam's Razor. Usually shit is real simple, man. Like it's not like these yeah. great fucking conspiracy, man. Sons act the way they are, dude. Cause that's the way they act, man. <laughs> that's the way right. they are. Yeah, right. ain't no puzzle to us, man. This is the DNA, man. This is what it is. Yeah, man, this is how we. This is the get, look. Going. Lewis said Robinson drove off, then circled back around. And we see them pull around. 
and um, she stops for like a second and then my sister just she just hit the car Robinson fled the scene. Jenkins was rushed to Kennestone Hospital, but did not survive her injuries. So it was no accident. It was very, she knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. Police tracked down Robinson and she was taken into custody in Fairburn. My sister did not deserve that. And the two other girls that were in there, they justice needs to be brought upon them as well. Because my sister did not deserve that. She was full of life energy she was like our oh shit yeah they was bad if, if that was the family that was oh, yeah. Yo. That's, like, that's like the huxtables and shit right you hear how she was yeah. talking she was saying like, she was talking like um proper like pedestrian and yeah. that we don't use you know that was a good family man yeah exactly that's I'm like, the dream that's what i'm at doing living his best life he had to watch that shit. His daughter, like, he had to. He had to see that shit, man. I wonder what he was doing during that. He might have been parking or some shit like that. Yeah, he because he if he was there, he would have probably had to yeah, tell him. Yeah, car, yeah, like, like yo, let them. Yeah, yeah man, he don't go find parking. Don't that, say that's, that's some man divested and all. Um, yo, he he still, he still, he still can't escape it. Nah. <laughs> Nah, you can't get away from he had the game. You gotta like live in a bubble, man. Yeah, you gotta go into a rock, and even then, yeah, man. That girl Vanessa Robinson, Vanessa Robinson, god damn. Yeah, she and she, man, I promise you, man, she ain't thinking about that girl she killed, man. She like, man, how many years I'm gonna get? Can I get a Right. And she's thinking about getting a head done and shit. Like, how am I gonna get my head done? Trust me. Yeah, she ain't thinking about that girl at all, man. Yo, yo, I, we need to uh, we need to get this girl's brain, pull it out, and study and find a fucking solution. Force a solution. Uh, this, but the solution is everybody already know, man. Like Scott Adams already said it, but it's too, we too woven mm -hmm. into this. Like, for instance, like me. Right, exactly. Like what? Watch like look at this guy, right? Let's let's where's that guy? Where, where, where the fuck is he at? Yeah, him. Like, right? What is he telling you? If like think about fuck what he say, fuck if he march for BLM, fuck if he hmm. talk about racism in America. What is what are you seeing from this guy? He wants happiness. He wants peace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What right. is he saying with his actions? He looks blissful wherever he is. You know what I'm saying? Like he is he's speaking louder than any fucking mm. tweet about George Floyd or about Trump being racist mm. and all that other shit we know he probably talk about. This yeah. is what he's saying loud right. and clear. That the American yeah. dream is real. Right. Yeah. Right. Damn. Energy. She was like our glue and her sisters other family members simply devastated by her loss she was one of four siblings all girls as for that suspect robinson she is facing a felony murder charges as well as aggravated assault and remains behind bars tonight in cobb county Deidre Duke. and here's the thing too this is the this is the thing nothing was lost right like so this girl going to jail right it, it, you didn't she she was going to end up in jail or prison at some other point in, in time if that's what she, if if this escalated that quick there was going to be another encounter with another group of people another person or she's going to put herself in another situation where she was going to end up in jail she would so have like, pool. <laughs> yeah nothing was lost here so it's not like Oh my God! She threw her life away. Two lives were lost. Nah, if she right. acts like this, right, this is her life was going to be lost in another incident later on. But they'll say that the why the the DA will fucking say just what you said. Two family lives were lost. That. The, the victim's family will say that exactly, and that's what I'm talking about earlier. As far as like the bubble we're in right now, you know, and then yeah. the uh, outside of it, it's fucking crazy. 
Yeah, man, she was going to be that that type of behavior because remember, this is outside of a base. Do you know how many fucking people are at a baseball game? You know how many cameras are at a fucking <laughs> baseball stadium? Like, I mean, no that regard. is brazen <laughs> and bold to mow down somebody run over them. Wait, it, no, wait. It's it's the loop back for me. Like yeah. <laughs> Stop it. That's Yo. a person that has that's a person that's going to do something. Say she got away with this scot free. Let's just say she gets a mulligan. No, no description. No that's someone that's going to crash out eventually on someone it no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hold it down for me. I gotta give my wife some water. Oh man. So I was I was watching uh what y'all were talking about with the uh, basketball courts and, and stuff like that. And one, one was talking about, yeah, they voted to uh, maintain that open field and nothing on it. I was just thinking, if you build it, sons will come. <laughs> and they will. Yep. Hey, Danny, what was, the, what was the most dangerous stadium you never said? Oh, yeah, true. Uh, is it Baltimore? I could have, I could have played it for it for us, but before he left, that would have been good. Well, you know, what is um, it's actually in uh, Brandon Tatum's neck of the woods. Where's that? At? Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Phoenix? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Phoenix. That's the in most the middle of the hood Phoenix? in Phoenix. Yes. What? In the middle of the hood in Phoenix. What the Diamondbacks? Yep. I, I would have never. I would have never guessed that. Oh really? Um, yeah. Phoenix, hell no. More dangerous, dangerous even than Oakland. So who's doing Phoenix? it there? The Umbritos? Phoenix? Yeah, so he is. So Johnny's saying. That's wild. yeah. That's, 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 uh, Phoenix is, is like five percent sun, and their neighborhoods are all around that stadium. Really? Wow! What the fuck? Damn, five percent. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to look into that because it kind of sounds to me unbelievable, but. I guess anything is possible, right? right. I want to guess Baltimore. Baltimore's up there, but it's not the highest. You know, Chicago's kind of weird. I, I'm not sure you guys heard, but it's very segregated. So the White Sox Park is is like on the white side of the of the city, and then like the one street. Over it, it becomes like sun. It becomes more dangerous. But where the stadium is at, safe because it's you know the gliders, it's Bridgeport. But Damn. it's not that dangerous there. It can be. Don't get me wrong. You know, you, you guys know what it is. Oh look! Oh yeah, Johnny put it in the back chat. Uh, National. You know Park. what two is? Two, two is. is. No, Kansas City. Hmm. St. Louis is five. It's, it's, it, it sucks, man. It honestly is unfortunate that it has to be this way. And that we have to pretend, we have to take, like, ignore it. We have to pretend it's not this way. Well, <laughs> wow. Nah, nobody's pretending like it's not this way. I think everybody knows. No, but I, I'm going to. Also, I'm sure you're hearing everything that is being said, all those, all this legislation being pushed forward. Uh, you know, it, Illinois just got, got rid of cash bail, for example. <laughs> they got rid so, of cash bail on, on behalf of the Sun Man. Nah, I know, but we don't deny this is happening. We only deny the benefit. <laughs> so I never would have figured this. Globe Life Field with the Cowboys Stadium, Six Flags, the 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 uh, ballpark in Arlington that was there that's now Choctaw Stadium Globe Life Field that's number nine in Arlington. Mm. What Texas? Well, Arlington is kind of a suburb in between Dallas and Fort Worth. You would think, yeah. you isn't know, that a, isn't that Gliderland? Well, you had Timothy Simpkins in Arlington there with the the, the shooting over weed at the school where he shot the kid and. A te in like two teachers, so I mean, it is what it is. 
Sons are there. But Johnny, you know that that's gonna it's gonna come to even your neighborhood, Johnny. You know that, right? I know you. I know you don't. You can't see it, but I'm telling you right now. Sooner or later, it's gonna come to your neighborhood too, dude. Trust me when I tell well, you. That. Well, uh, Des Bryant is from my neighborhood, so uh, <laughs> there are already sons here, but they're not. They're not acting the fool now. I don't know. It may yeah, take I'm not a while. About, it, may, it may happen instantly. I don't know. I, I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that come after them. That's what I think anyway, unless I'm wrong, correct me. But I just don't think there's anywhere you could go where you can't, like, it won't just jump out at you and take you with it, you know? Yeah. You, well, like, we're, you, not, we're not real good with the amenities here. There's not a lot to do here. So that kind of not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> That's good. But you know, even though that they're like like they're not a lot of sons who maybe attend, and you don't need a lot, but you don't, but there's not a lot of sons who attend baseball games in general. Okay, cool. But who right. works at the stadium? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like who who has all the concession jobs there? Yeah, who has the majority cool. of the majority of the attendants there. Who are the majority of the janitors there? Like the majority is just, that's where you black people are at. They're not attending the game. That's so there's, there's a significant amount there. And by extension, yeah. you're gonna have some of their friends and some of their family members and just you know, so that's that's enough. You don't need that's a whole crazy. lot. You don't need a whole whole lot. That's never. That's we. we I think that's very very clear here. Yeah, so you can say there's, everywhere. That's clear. Yeah, everywhere. you can say there's not a lot in your town, and so you shouldn't expect it. But you, we, we all know now that you don't need a lot, and it's getting right. smaller and smaller. The percentage, like think a year ago, yeah. remember what was the percent? Like what was it? Ten? Y'all remember? I think when it was, it was ten. Like 10? I think it was ten. Yeah. Y'all remember when it was ten percent? What is it now? It I like, think it's got to be like seven, man. Oh man, I thought we were down to five. <laughs> maybe shit damn you know what i'm saying i don't know but um but i think i don't know five is starting to make me nervous to be honest with you i don't know what the what, what the consensus yeah. is but but, hey, but you but consensus. you live in the heart of the stand you said right also you live like deep in the stand right yeah i mean nah not not but, deep in the stand, to but, be honest. but you're I'm able to you you're able to maneuver it around it right you know how to like you know how to swim right i mean yeah i've been here as long as you know what i mean yeah yeah. I, I'm a sun man, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I've never really had no problems with that. You know what I'm saying? No worries about that. Like that's never really. Yeah. Been a thing. I'm a, I'm a sun man at heart. So like, yeah, this is my home. Like these are my people. Like I love right. these people. I know it's a controversial. I know. Thing to say here. No, no, no. I know. I know. So I'm, I'm a son. So. Yeah. But you seem smart. I'm not you like seem... one of those square dudes that like right. <laughs> that don't get no respect that, around. That, that he's way. hiding. That he's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but, so. but you also strike me as you know observant and intelligent where you know how to like separate yourself from a moment that you see it coming you know if you can because you know sometimes yeah, if you i can coming. but i mean I, yeah i mean i just i just yeah i just respect um yeah and and they respect that in the hood you know what i'm saying like like yeah. real real so to speak real recognized real so to speak so it's like yeah people respect that in the hood it's not like yeah you know, like I'm, especially like grown men older men you know what i'm saying i'm out to, i'm about to be in my 40s so it's like we're yeah. older now, so it's like that's 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 what we, you want to be that more now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, so, I mean, I know what you mean. Like, I mean, people pe like people see me when I and they meet me, and they, you I mean, you know, I came from the hood. I mean, it's I, I don't think I act hood, but like, I mean, it's kind of hard to turn that off. It's all I knew, you know, when I was a kid. You had to survive, yeah. right? So I think people, like you said, people recognize it. It's not like I'm trying to be over the top with it, like I'm the man. The people don't like that shit either, you know. Nah, what? people do kind of okay. like that. I mean, if, if you men, grow men, respect men, you know what I mean? Who, who, yeah. <laughs> who you know what I mean? Nah, That's it. Shit. Like, with manhood is, is a universal thing. It's not really, like, real tied to race, per se. You know what I'm saying? Men recognize men across all, you know, kind right, of right. And, and we're but, more, but, able, as men, we're more easier. We should be easier for us to, like, just accept it amongst each other, you know? Yeah, yeah, but, but I guess what I'm saying is... um. You don't gotta be like over the top with it, you know. I don't. I don't need to be like checking motherfuckers, like, like you know, like what's up, man. I I could take you kind of shit, you know, like. Yeah, I ain't never been like that. Kind of, you know, I I mean, I've just never been that kind of dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't. I don't carry it like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't perpetrate. I don't front. You know what I'm saying? That, and that and some I can't. I can't do that. Like, I'm not really like ready to go as far as some of these sun men are. So I don't even pretend. 
Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> like I'm yo, not going. I ain't gonna never fake in front. <laughs> on right, the exactly. Nah. Y'all, y'all like to pretend I don't live around suns at all. It's twenty six percent here. It's just Damn. they're not they're not wiling out here. <laughs> Johnny got money. That's all. Johnny comes from money, so he comes from that white privilege. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like white privilege to me. That is the white privilege. <laughs> nah, not not twenty five percent. That's a lot. No, it sounds like a lot, Johnny. That's a lot, Johnny. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a good. That's one in four people was the son. Damn. Yeah. I that's... thought you'd be more like a two point five, Johnny. Right. Yeah, twenty five is a huge number. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Unless they're my, yeah, but I look at the gun memorial and there's not there's nobody on it recent. So mm, are know. they all sequestered in one part of town? Or is it are they all over town? Um, the uh north side of town is uh the, the side of town to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still pretty safe, you're saying though, right? Yeah, overall, right. Uh, property crime and you know the the uh, I guess the uh, predominantly some the uh, the violence on women a little bit is is elevated a little bit more but it's not predominantly some. they're not doing assaults and that kind of thing a lot is is uh do you know the racial demographics of the crime like those crimes those property crimes and such do you you have that data. I I don't think they have comp stats for the for for this area. It's small, 30,000. 30, do you think that? Do you think that it was it, what what percentage do you think might be doing the crime? Sun people. It's gonna be up there, but there are there are trashy whites here too. You know. Mm. Do you think it's, it's a it, like it's a country high. town basically? Hmm. You think it's like fifty percent, son? The crime. Oh, it's gonna be at least that. I'm gonna roll out, right? But I wanted to ask Osa something before I do. I don't know if you remember Osa way back. We used to talk about the backlash, and you said I think you said it was gonna come soon or something. Have you like um evolved on that or what is your take on that now? Like as far as a back, rem- yeah, yeah. I don't remember what time period I put on it. I don't even remember putting a time period. All I just said that it's it's inevitable. I don't remember okay. what time period I said. I don't know what I meant by soon, but I'm still, yeah. I haven't evolved from that yet. I mean, y'all be safe. All right, bro. Peace, peace. All right, man. Peace, man. <laughs>